Here we go. Right, so we're just going to go to our presenter page right now and present in full screen. There we go. Right, welcome everyone to another weekly Zoom here. So we've changed the times for those of you that have only really just jumped back on um, recently. We are now eight o'clock on Wednesdays. So today's topic is about stress management strategies. So it's interesting when we're thinking about how we manage or, or gauge our lifestyles, because everything is not just about putting food in your body and then going to the gym to build these wonderful, amazing muscles. There's so much more to training and nutrition than that. Um, I do, would you guys agree with me? Like there's just so much more to it. It's about trying to almost build your lifestyle as well and, and change your lifestyle, um, improve your mindset. And also, would you say there are some transferable skills when we think about how exercise and nutrition play a part with, um, you know, your your career and how you operate within your business. So your business being either your job or literally your business. Yeah? Yes. Have you noticed the change, Gagan? Um, how do you mean change? You mean like in um in what way, sorry? Have you noticed a change in the way that you operate as a person since taking hold of your like fitness and nutrition I, I guess some uh i guess some uh one of the biggest changes is discipline nice that's that's it basically being more disciplined um, rather than like kind of letting things go because obviously um ha having having yourself kind of like you know in the background like you know what you're doing do this kind of thing like yeah so having having discipline is definitely something which has been a bit more involved in my lifestyle um yeah in the last couple of months for sure that's brilliant. Um, in, in in relation to work, I mean, work is just you know a separate thing. So, work's work, business is business. So, um, uh, I'll try not to try not to get the two um um uh, overlap too much. I guess I don't know. Yeah. So, but um, but one thing I've noticed is that I've seemed to have um a good amount of energy, which is important because um some some days I used to be you know a little bit kind of you know less energized. So excellent. That's positive. I like that. Anisha, for yourself? <clears throat> yes, I have noticed the difference. I feel like it's given a bit more structure to my day. Yeah. Um, sorry, was the question how the fit the fitness has affected this or the, the having a routine? One yeah. thing I spoke to you about in the beginning, I think was one of my goals when I started with you was like, I want more structure, more discipline um it's definitely helped I feel also I feel like a bit more resilient um because in the beginning I know that like it was difficult for me to if I went into a bit of a slump like with my exercise or with work I just used to be like oh like I'm never gonna get that's it I might as well give up now but then recently when that happened I feel like I got out of it a bit quicker than the first time I think you might agree as well yes definitely I feel like it took a little bit less convincing or I feel like I was ready to go back like when I come back when I came back from holiday yeah I felt like actually not all is lost like you can just just start like keep going you're losing out more if you don't start again like you know yeah mm. and I've applied that to other bits of my life as well like work definitely like I told, oh yeah, my check-in, I did say I wouldn't have applied for jobs. I don't think I would have got jobs if I didn't start. Wow, it's really done a lot for my life. <laughs> oh, I love hearing <laughs> When I'm thinking about it now. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy for you. That's amazing. Thank you. Right. So yeah, I guess this was a check-in question actually from someone that was asking just to sort of, you know, they find that they've got a very stressful job and... I feel like for them, it's very, they found it very difficult um, trying to separate work infringing on their personal life as well and their 
their time in terms of how what they do for themselves so like for you for you Guggen work is 24 7 it's it's all day you you wake up think about it, you yeah. go to sleep and um, the same is for myself as well like work is constant it's always there but I think it's trying to find those those moments throughout the day where you choose to say no to certain things, especially when it comes to thinking about things that you do for yourself. Um, it's very easy to kind of just like do, do, take on board more stuff. And, you know, even when you're in an employed format as well, just taking on more work, um, there has to be a point where you, you do say no. And it's not to say that you... You don't want to do any more. It's to actually say, well, you know what? I need to have a bit of self-care or a bit more self-management and, you know, a bit more like for my mental health, because that's going to affect how I perform in my job as well. So it's not just about what you bring to the table in terms of your career and your business, looking after yourself and putting yourself first and, you know, taking care of number one is going to have a an, um, like a profound effect on how you show up for others. So, so when we think about stress, um, what sort of things might cause us stress? Uh, you know, these are things I guess you, you need to ask yourself when you're thinking about stress affecting you and, and taking over. What are your triggers? Is there something that happens throughout the day? Is there someone on your team that, that just says something or they look at you in a certain way and it just triggers that horrible feeling inside yourself. Is it people? Is it things? Is it scenarios? Is it scenarios that we make up in our head when we think about the past or the future? Um, it the, the mind is such a, like a powerful and, and crazy thing because you can almost like think yourself into the stress as well. Even when something hasn't, happened in that moment in time just by thinking about negative things like that's that's going to be stressful um so yeah it's just really trying to understand about these and if you've got some time later on and you do decide to kind of wa watch this video back or you want to take a quick screenshot of these questions and and perhaps maybe you think about what if if stress is something you feel like you're affected by almost creating that um, openness and being aware of what causes my stress, what are my triggers, you know, is it certain people, is it things, is it scenarios? So, um, yeah. Cool? Yeah. Don't freeze. Here we go. So this was an interesting one because, oh. It's gone back. Okay, here we go. Nutrition as a way of coping. So people have various different ways that they deal with stress. And like nutrition can be one of those things that you can be drawn to either becoming very obsessive with or becoming very mindless about. So I think when you are stressed, some people do start coping in various different ways um and actually at the, what i'll do at the end is i'm actually going to come back to the slide because i'll give you some tips about what sort of things we could look at when it comes to nutrition so things that we can control so we've got our lovely self-care checklist there are things that we can kind of uh, do to fill our cup and to help us feel better so creating a schedule, um, time blocking as well. So making sure that, so I've actually adopted in the last six months, a Google calendar. I can't say that I stick to it exactly, but I feel for me personally, when I've got things to do, they need to happen at a certain time of the week or of the day. And I have to go through those you know, I've got those alerts that come up from Google Calendar, you know, making sure that I don't miss out on vital things that are important when it comes to serving you guys. 
Um, and also when it comes to like my own training as well, like I have to schedule that in. Um, it's not something that just happens. I need to make sure that it's one of those things that I just check off and it's it's there. And and actually, to be fair, on a usually on a Sunday, if I feel like weeks are going to be very different week week to week, I look at how my week might look for the week ahead and you know it might be that I spend 20 minutes 10 minutes five minutes or 30 minutes just spending a bit of time and just going through the motion and going like what things do I need to do to make sure that I do not get stressed because stress sometimes can happen when we feel like everything is getting on top of us <clears throat> and then obviously we've got like our our little um self-care checklist so things that you can do to fill your cup to make you feel good um and so one of those would be sleep and i'm sure you could uh, you know agree that having sleep having adequate sleep and rest really has an a, a significant role in your like your management of stress and how you operate the next day um we all know what it's like when you've only had like 4 hours sleep or 5 hours sleep how how already you feel so irritable just by having that lack of sleep. Um, and if sleep is something... What's that picture of, sorry, the, that sleep picture? <laughs> sorry? What's that good good sleep, the picture? What is that? Is that a, a face or... I think eye it's... mask. Yeah. Oh, eye mask. Okay, sorry, sorry. My bad. I thought it was a pizza. I don't know what... I don't know. I'm, yeah, I, I obviously meditate, you know, flowers, exercise, work and that. But the sleep, sorry. I was like, what? what is that? Eye what mask. is that? Okay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry to interrupt. I'm so, sorry to interrupt. I think it's an eye mask. It might be someone's hair with a bit of... Yeah, the, I, a bit I, of a bit 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 of well, so sorry, you sorry, could be interrupt. sleeping and dreaming about pizza. Um, no, it's an eye mask. It's an eye mask. Okay. Yes, sorry. definitely. We'll go with the eye mask. So, yes, <laughs> as adults, we want to aim for about, you know, the seven to nine hours sleep um, uninterrupted. And when it comes to, if you struggle with sleep and it, when it comes to actually creating an environment for getting sleep to happen, um, Things like having a relaxing bedtime routine help, um, avoiding electronics. So believe it or not, I put my phone in the living room. I put it on airplane mode and it goes into the, the living room because I, I don't want to get woken up at whatever time of the morning. Um, so, yeah, so I mean, very rarely we get situations where something's an absolute like emergency, perhaps. I don't know actually, Gogan. Do you have like a work phone and a personal phone? Oh uh, no, just just one phone. But um, yeah, what I would do is take turn off the Wi-Fi and uh, and data, and I would tell any anyone who's you know who's got an emergency, don't don't text me, don't WhatsApp me. If you really need to get in touch with me, just call me. Yeah. Yeah, and then and, and if you get a phone calls, then you know, happy days. So then I just then then I, sometimes I, I let my phone die, and I just I, I leave it dead sometimes, and I just. If someone wants to call me, they can't call me. Fuck it. What am I going to do? <laughs> well, I and guess that it takes so much discipline, you guys. Yeah, it does. It's hard. It's really hard. Stopping well scrolling at night. It's hard. And and replying to, to messages like immediately. Sometimes you need to have that space. I don't even have Instagram, but I'll find something to look at. I don't even have any social media apart from WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my phone so much. It's it's weird. Yeah. Nobody even texts me. I don't even have that many friends. <laughs> I just like read random news articles and stuff. It is bad. Yeah. I guess <laughs> maybe it depends what time of the day you do that. And if it's something that you use to unwind, you can always kind of like time block a time. Yeah. You can do that to have right, this is my scrolling time. And then actually the one of the things that I sort of, um, that I like to, to do when I kind of think right bedtime routine, it's like get in and have a nice hot shower. You know, I put my favorite lavender body cream on. I, you know, I like turn the lights out, pull the blinds down. I do like various different things. I might, you know, have a little tidy up. I think washing dishes last minute, minute like last thing at night is not the nicest thing, but it's something that gets you away from your phone. 
Um, my partner actually works a lot later than I do. So I usually send him a text or call him right before I'm going to put my phone away. And, and then I say, right, that's it. Um, that's gone now. So no more calling. And then I just sit in my bed and read a book, you know, and, and granted some days the iPad comes out and I might watch something, but I think it's just, um, sleep health and sleep routine and stuff it's hard to get into but I think just try it out it might work for you for you some days you might actually really enjoy that and you might just crave doing that and that's that's really cool as well but there's definitely a lot to be said when it comes to getting the electronics out of the room get the get the window open it's warmer now heat rises if you live in a flat so just get the window cracked open, get that fresh air in, nice yeah, cool. cool. Um, yeah, that's that's enough on sleep and the pizza face mask. Um, I've noticed people- that. I've noticed that with for me personally, when I'm going to sleep, the easiest way to, for me to sleep is to make a checklist of all the things I'm going to do the next day. Basically, like just organize my next day, and then for some reason it kind of um, gives me a little bit of peace because I, I I don't need to think about anything because. It's all written down. I know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm, I haven't got to worry. I haven't got to think about anything. So I know what I'm doing because I've already organized that day. Go straight into bed. I, I didn't read a book. I just go into bed, turn it up and sleep because I'm so at peace because it's all organized. You know, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't need to think about, I need to worry about, I need to write anything down. It's all written down. That's it tomorrow. I've got to do all this shit and that's it basically. It, that's the only thing. I obviously turn the phone off and that's, that helps as well. So. That's really good, actually. And yeah, it's it's like having a brain dump. So I had a bit of a brain dump just before we got onto the call today. I've got a few things that I want to do to give myself a break from technology. So um, it's that time of year and I have a little garden and I, I like to grow vegetables and things. So I've now got that into my routine. The uh, plants need nursing day and night. So get up in the morning and it's the first thing I do whilst I'm making my coffee. I've got to go and water the plants and at night time as well, I've got a little list here. I've got to wash some dishes, fold some towels and and, uh, water the plants. So that's my checklist tonight to get me away from my phone. Um, Yeah. So other things like meditation, have you guys tried like meditation before? Never, no. I have tried it. I've never pursued it because I feel like my mind's too busy. I think that's yeah. the idea. Even though that is exactly what the what it's for. But I think it's hard in the beginning because you just start your mind wanders off a little bit and so my um, understanding yeah. with meditation, um, and especially in the early parts, is to actually allow your mind to to have all those thoughts, let everything come in. Um, and then mm. like try and ease it away. I think um, when it comes to things like mindfulness and, and that sort of meditation stuff, like you can do like guided ones and you can feel quite silly doing them. But if you do, if you just say to yourself, do you know what, I'm going to do like one minute of silence and let's let's do that. Let's see what comes in and what goes out my head. But maybe even do a brain dump <coughs> like what Duggan does before he goes to sleep. Do the brain dump and go, do you know what? I'm going to sit here and and before, you could even do it at the beginning of your day. So you've you've got your kettle on, ready to brew your coffee or whatever it is you drink. And you go, right, that's on. I'm going to sit here for one minute. I'm not going to think about the day ahead. And I'm just going to try and think about like nothing. So perhaps that might be helpful. But I think it's the idea is it's going to try and decrease those uh, horrible stress hormones um and maybe set you up for a bit of peace as well so who knows exercise is that an outlet for some of us just going to the gym and just having a great time and coming out and even going for a walk when you're stressed for a walk just going for a walk as well to be honest yeah Mm. absolutely love it especially around especially around like where, 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 where where i am it's quite nice to just go for a walk go to the green or go to the river is, is or, or the or bushy park is quite um, therapeutic very very much it's lovely yeah i think definitely bushy park is that where is that again <clears throat> is that south london bushy park is 
Bushy Park is kind of like a, it's in between Kingston and Hampton Wick and Hampton and um, uh, Hampton Court. Sorry. Oh, Hampton. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. It's around here. Yeah. Yeah, lovely park. Yeah, nice park. So yeah, get, get um, you guys. Like survive definitely for me has become that through this. It wasn't before because I used to think about it as something I have to do. And I realized I always wanted Anthony to come with me, like my partner. Um, I always wanted to him to come with me. But since I've been getting into the exercise now, I, I kind of like, I'd rather just go by myself because it's kind of like me time. It's your me time. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. Really cool. yeah. So like, that's a big change. So if I go, like, I don't have to worry about anything else. Like, I'll just go and that hour off. Just do whatever I need to do. A form of meditation in itself, I find as well. If like... you're doing like a yoga class or something, then yeah, it's kind of has a meditative kind of element to it sometimes. Or Pilates mm. is not so much, but yoga for sure. But um, yeah, if you do a, a class doing yoga, it's good. Just to throw it in there in the middle of all your exercises, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I'll do it. So other other things, um, yeah, reading, getting into a nice book, allowing your mind to sort of, you know, disappear into a different world, eating healthy. Yeah. So I will be sharing a few tips about these sort of, you know, types of foods that you that have been shown to kind of help with, uh, you know, stress reducing nutrients, etc. Um, drinking drink water, more water, right? oh, water. Sorry. Drink, drink more water and mind your business. <laughs> we love that one. Uh, good one <laughs> that is a good one right how do i press an arrow next arrow here we go oh no we're not over yet i'm so sure there was another there was another so we were going to go back to the nutrition yeah, okay yeah. so in terms of the stress management so some of the things that are uh, certain nutrients can help support your body's stress response. So foods rich in vitamin C, so like citrus fruits and bell peppers, magnesium as well. Magnesium's, uh, a, you know, a sort of stress reducing nutrient. And that one you can get these like spray bottles or you can just get them from leafy greens, nuts and seeds. And then also you've got your omega-3 fatty acids. So from your fatty fish, your flax seeds and your chia seeds as well. So those are a few things um, there. I also think in some ways, a little bit of like something that you like. So if you've got a sweet tooth, um, I don't really know if this kind of like, you consider it as a sweet tooth thing, but like dark chocolate. Yeah, I have a lot of dark chocolate. Loads yeah, of dark, dark, it's like bitter, but you know, it's it's something, you know, Allowing yourself to not exclude or stop yourself from having foods that you want as well. Um, but also kind of thinking about making that choice in terms of mindfully thinking, do I actually need this right now or do I want it? And actually, you know what, if I have some, will it satisfy my stress? Because when it comes to nutrition, I think when there's no thought into what you're ha having and i think especially when it comes to like uh you know emotional like binge eating for example um i feel like the mindfulness there's like a disconnect and it's like okay there's a biscuit the stress is still here if i eat the whole packet is it actually going to go away or will it still be there and will i still be looking for the next thing um, so I think that's something to kind of think of, think about when it is nutrition, like actually truly thinking if I have one of these, what will it serve? Like what kind of purpose will it have in terms of controlling my stress? Like, should that really be the only thing we look towards? So, um, yeah, that's, that's basically what I wanted to talk to you guys about that. And I'll just see if there's like anything else on my list. Um, <laughs> Caffeine as well. So caffeine and alcohol. Oh, yeah. Now you're talking. And now we're talking as well. As yeah, well. now we're talking. I'm going to go back through these um, slides again because I am so sure I had a slide on...
I had a slide with a, with a list of, um, maybe I imagined it. Yeah, I guess it kind of comes under, under triggers really. But yeah, alcohol and caffeine. So uh, caffeine, I guess, is known to kind of increase your anxiety. Um, and that's not really going to help. And alcohol also can be like a way of escaping what's going on and, and almost using like food, using it to ignore really what's going on. And I think if stress is really majorly impacting you, um, I think it's it might be worth looking at, you know, if you've tried all the sort of small tips and tricks and stuff, A, if it's work-related stress, speaking to someone at work about how to cope with stress and what it is that you're de dealing with and if they're giving you like more pressure and if it's if it comes to like relationship stress and family thinking about communication and I guess if we go further along into that is it's actually seeking out professional support you know and it may be even looking at other sort of you know guidances and stuff but um I'm unqualified to tell you all about stress, but here we are. I've done done a, a little bit of um, research into it. And yeah, just again, it's one of those things that's going to have effect on our lifestyle management as well. And, and that's what this is all about, you know, being the best versions of ourselves. We don't want to be so, stressed. So alcohol isn't therapy. Well, it depends. It, it depends what the barman's saying, right? Oh, man. It's like I've been misled. I've, I've, I've been, I've been misled all my whole life. It's, it's like I, I, need, I need, I love a bit of alcohol. So what, what, what do I do about that? So then you're the barman. So I was going to say, are you surely not the therapist in this situation? It's, yeah, it's being like the judge and executioner at the same time, isn't it? So, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh. but... But yeah, I mean, obviously, I love caffeine. I love alcohol. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, yeah. uh, I can't. I can't give any of those things up because uh, I just don't want to. Um, uh, maybe it is a way of coping with stress, or maybe it's just uh, um, uh, one of those uh, on that list there, one of those self care things potentially. But um, I, I, th I think I've talked to you about my alcohol um, consumption. I've tried to reduce it a little bit, basically. Yeah. yeah. For sure. um, and then also thinking sure. that. If that's your usual go-to, what are the other options that you could look at? That's that's a very good good idea because what I do sometimes when I'm going shopping to like Sainsbury's or whatever, I get like a fancy kind of tonic or soda water and the days that I don't want to drink or have a dry day, I would have that instead, basically. Um, if it's just to have that kind of something with a bit of, you know, like a drink or whatever. I sound mm. like an alcoholic. I'm, I, I, it's like I, I, a soft I, drink, right? It's something to yeah, enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't drink soft drinks. I don't have chocolate bars. I, I generally have healthy, um, healthy things, but I might have a tonic water or something or a soda water with... Yeah. I do that. It gives that that dryness a little bit. Yeah, it's, it sounds like I'm alcoholic, but it just gives me that um that kind of um uh, feeling of having something, you know, as a little treat. Yeah. Um, I haven't you know overindulged the whole day of course so there's no reason for me to not to you know have a little treat at the end of the night um if it's something other other than um than having a drink then it might just be having a bath um uh, learn playing guitar or something you know or something completely different to take mind off. oh we yeah. haven't even talked about music and dancing oh well, we've only got a few minutes left but one of the things i was going to show you like i like kombucha have you tried kombucha it's like again, it's like a nice alternative drink. It's um Is it strong? Has it got alcohol in it? No, it's not alcohol. It's like <laughs> it tastes like vinegar. Vinegar. Pretty, pretty much. But I didn't have the other can that I wanted to show you. But there is this can that I've seen at Sainsbury's. It's called Trip. And it's C B D yeah. infused. I've seen that, yeah. C B D. Have you tried that? It's nice. I've had the Does peak. it actually um, make you feel because it's make you meant to make you feel calm, isn't it? I think it might make me calm psychologically. I think there's something about, oh, this says the word calming on, this is gonna do the job. So there is definitely something about the placebo effect when it comes to these different outlets that we choose. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think I use I don't use like 
food or alcohol when I'm stressed as much but I do use it as a reward that's my thing so mm-hmm. like you have the stressful day and then and then afterwards and then it's like your outlet yeah then it's like oh I should treat myself because I've worked really hard today oh. but it's also part of my job so it's difficult it's difficult not to have alcohol you know because uh you know working in the bar yeah. I've got mm-hmm. I've got you know I've got to have you know and I can't have a drink and spit it out that's just you know <laughs> You've got to, you've got to tell them that it tastes good, right? Yeah. Guys, we've got, got about a minute and a half left. So have you got like any other questions before we head out? Not too much. Anything else to add? It's check-ins tomorrow. Let's do it. So yeah, keep sending in your requests for topics. And I believe nobody actually watched last week's. Is that right? Not yet. What was Not last yet. week's topic? Um, I think it was intermittent fasting. Oh, I missed that. I'll watch, I'm going to watch it, actually, because I'm into that. Okay. I'll go back and watch it. Give me some feedback. It'd be great. I have watched a couple. I have watched back a couple when I wasn't there. So. If it cuts off, um, it just means our screen's finished. But, um, yeah, send in your request and let me know what you think of, of the, yeah, if you've got any questions, Ari, the last week's topic okay okay cool See thank you, you. Bye. bye guys and thank look you, bye. Bye. tomorrow as well i look forward to some amazing results from you all tomorrow bye bye